Welcome back to another episode of Would You Watch It Again, the show review for your movies, anime, and TV shows. At the end, it's the only question that really matters, would you watch this over again? I'm your host D, and today we're reviewing DC's new movie, Black Adam. Let's talk about it. So Black Adam stars The Rock as Teth Adam, aka Black Adam, an ex-slave bestowed with the powers of the gods. After using said powers for vengeance, uh, he's in prison for 5,000 years. Fast forward, and we're in the present DCEU. Um, and he's freed from his prison to dish out his unique form of justice but is challenged by modern day heroes who form the justice society if you ever wanted to just go into a movie and watch the rock just kill a bunch of bad guys then this is definitely the movie for you i think the rock as black adam is like super great casting he looks like he's having a blast playing the character the action in this movie is top tier i enjoyed each and every fight that took place and watching the rock just take out each person with electricity or just turning their missiles around and it's blasting their helicopters or simply just throwing them never got old the cgi for the most part is great but it does have some bad spots, especially in the last battle. You can tell most of the money went towards all of uh, Black Adam scenes and Dr. Fates. The story can be a little dry at times, but I don't think it's terrible. But I do think they stepped on their own toes when it came to the killing aspect. The entire movie's premise is heroes don't kill, but the whole time you see Black Adam killing people, you never think of it as wrong because they're bad guys. And this is essentially a war that's going on. Even if people of conduct don't see a problem with him killing people, it's only the JSA. But this is also the same universe where Superman snapped Zod's neck and Batman just said, fuck it one night, I'm killing people now. So I think the whole heroes don't kill is completely out the window at this point. This can also seem like an overstuffed movie. Like there's a lot going on. This is a Black Adam origin story, but this is also our first time ever seeing the JSA even mentioned. Uh, we've never seen these characters in this universe so we're getting introduced to them as well not saying the jsa is bad i liked all the members uh they took some lesser known heroes and gave them some time to shine the two that stood out the most were definitely hawkman and dr fate i thought both actors did a great job of like playing the characters and i would love to see both of them come back and uh, play in future projects cyclone and adam Spasher, i didn't really see how they fit into the story it's like they needed two more characters to fill two more seats and they just picked anyone not to say like they did a bad job but i didn't really see how they fit into the story at all the final battle is very superhero fashion with a random cgi villain that's never mentioned and no one cares about um the cgi is pretty pretty bad for the <laughs> for the villain but i think the rest of the movie kind of makes up for it final thoughts this was a good movie, the characters are likable, the action is crazy over the top. When it's good, it's good. When it's corny, it's super corny. I can see some of the faults and criticisms people have with it, but I definitely don't think it deserves all the hate it's getting. So would I watch Black Adam again? Yes. I would say if you haven't seen it, you're missing out on some crazy good action scenes and DC is definitely on the rise once again. And if you have seen it, hey, watch it again.